Welcome to Immune of White Kid Cringe Compilation. Please like and sub for more cringe. Hey guys, I got my double Boston pizza for supper! Boston pizza! Yeah! And I got an avid calendar too! Look at the avid calendar! It's got chocolate! Chocolate! Pizza time I like fucking dead babies in the ass! Santa Claus is a fat fucking cunt! That's a so scary! Why is it so scary? It makes it in my house and leaves me present! Why did he let me call? Why the fuck would I need a pizza call? What the fuck is wrong with that fat bastard? <laughs> Guess what's today? Pistol day! Bloop, bloop, bloop. Right? Today I'm gonna be showing you! You! You right there! How are ya? I'm gonna show you the M9 pistol! 1.5 jewel! Not something to play around with! I get this gun for a serious matter! I fucking. I fucking shoot animals! Shh, keep it on the DF! Mom, give me some cornflakes. You already know this, but I just came back from crying, and before that, I came back from the outside world because it's it's a very sad story. I was I was this close. I was this close to to making it, and it all failed. Basically, I was in the outside world. I, I was, I was following the simple pickup um, YouTube channel on their methods of getting the girlfriend. So I dropped my confidence was like this high. It went over the maximum. See, it went over the maximum, and after that, it just went back down here because what happened was just very bad. See, everything was going so good. Um, I went up to the girl and she, you know, I was starting the conversation, everything was going good. She was laughing, haha, and I was laughing, having a good time. And then, I went for my move, so, I didn't touch her yet, so then, and then I said, I was like, ah, uh -huh, and then it, she said a funny joke, so then, I was like, ha, huh, and then I just tapped her on the shoulder, a little bit, you know, a little playful, playful tap. And then, what happened was, she... And she said, oh, don't touch me. And then she, her, with her water bottle, she spilled the water on me. And I was all wet. And everything was wet. Even even my camera was wet. It, it was a very sad time. And I thought everything was going so good. But I guess if I touch her, then everything goes bad. So, yeah, I guess... I guess, I guess I can't really get a good girlfriend now, but, yeah. Hey everyone, so I was chatting on AM, AIM with this guy, supposedly he was from England, and I speak fluent American, so there's a bit of a language barrier, but he knew really good English. Ow, stop biting my toe. So, um, I was talking to him about, like, this game I wanted, because I was hoping he'd buy it for me. And he, it was The Sims 3 Generations, and I really wanted that expansion pack for my Sims game. And he said supposedly he wanted it too. And, um, I'm like, well, why don't you get it? And he's like, because it's too much. I'm like, well, how much is it? He's like, it's 15 pounds. 
So apparently there was a bit of a language barrier there because I asked him how much it costs, not how much it weighs. So a bit of a language barrier, we went over that jump. But the thing I'm wondering is why does it weigh so much? That's what's confusing to me. Like, does it have to do with where England is located? Like, is it because it's, like, I don't even know. Because, like, maybe it's, like, really close to Jupiter. So, like, if you know the solar system, America is, like, in the middle. And, um, England is, like, um, it's the, it's the closest to the sun, I think. Um, so maybe there's a possibility that, um, there's a difference in, like, gravity or something. So, like, 15 pounds is actually really light in England. It's just so confusing. I'm not good with planets. But, um, I think that might be it. Alright, bye everyone! I love you, Lou. Oh yeah, fuck me, oh, oh god damn, yeah, oh yeah, screw me over, yeah, oh, I'm so horny, yeah, oh fuck, my god damn, mo, you fucking me so hard, oh, 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 You and me are all together forever. Us together. Hello, YouTube. Don Roberts here. And as I've been surfing the web, I have noticed a bunch of uh, videos recently have been being made about fedoras and fedora tricks. And if you've watched my first video, you know I'm wa wearing my fedora. And anyway, in these fedora videos, basically people that love fedoras like I do and that I wear all the day, uh, they they just do tricks like they flip their hats and they roll them up their sleeve and stuff. I can't really do that much, but and tribute to that. And on Labor Day, I'm going to be doing some of my hat tricks. All right, this is my first hat trick here, and it's called the flip. And basically, you just get your fedora right here and you flip it around. And you put it on there. I do that all the time at school. And all the girls, they love it. They laugh. And, and, but it's not like the laugh. Like, <laughs> that's me, you know, like, being the mean laugh. It's more like, <laughs> wow, that's so cool. It's those kinds of laugh. It, and then I got another one. And it's, uh, it's kind of tricky to do. It, I watched it. Uh, yesterday on YouTube is this guy, he, he flipped, uh, oh, golly, hold on just one sec, hey guys, okay, I'm sorry you guys, I'll uh, try to edit that out later, here is the second attempt, and it's the flip, it's called the flip, uh, you get your fedora, you flip it around, and you put it on, there you go, <laughs> All right, you guys. So it's Labor Day 2014, and I'm going to be celebrating with a little YouTube spectacular. I will be drawing pictures and how-to videos, maybe. I don't know. 
uh, I've been noticing that I haven't been getting a lot of views on my videos, but like PewDiePie, you have to get a start somewhere. You know, he, he got his start on the internet, and he didn't have 5 million subscribers when he first started. I feel like I'm going to become the next PewDiePie, and something tells me with Dale that I can do it, and that I can achieve what I can. Plus, I'm likable. A lot of people like me. Uh, I have a lot of, you know, friends at school that, you know, they hang out with me. And, uh, I'm likable. I mean, if I was you, I'd watch my videos. I mean, it seems pretty fun, pretty cool. And I'll be making new videos. Maybe I'll get my, uh, video games and upload me surfing the web on there only if I start getting subscribers which I probably will I just need to start making some videos I hope that you all like this video you guys and bye oh, hold on I hope you like this video guys and I son of a gun one more time. I hope you all like this video, you guys, and I will see you in the next video. Bye. And you can also just look cool, so uh, here we go. The trick to looking cool while smoking a cigarette is to impress all the other smokers, of course, is to inhale as much of the cigarette and hold it in for as long as you can. So you gotta just keep breathing. Breathe it in, breathe it in with the far there, and then uh, and then you hold it in until you can't, and then you exhale it. So we'll get started. dizzy. I don't feel good. <coughs> I think I'm gonna puke. What the hell? Why do people like doing that? Oh my god. There you have it. Uh, now you've got uh, a new hobby uh, to spend money on and you can look cool while doing things like uh, collecting cans off, out of people's garbage or like waiting for the bus or something. You, you got a cool new hobby for outdoors so uh, I hope I've I've been informative. You can uh, you can hit that like button if I helped you out there with taking up smoking, uh, or you could leave a comment like, for example, what your favorite uh, brand of cigarette is. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of these Dumouriers. They taste like uh, phlegm mixed with uh, like coal or ash or something. I, I don't know. It didn't didn't do much for me, but maybe that's uh, maybe that's not. You, that's your brand. You know.